people going to fear you if you calm while everybody else is chaotic and stressed out. You're in the same environment they in, but you're reacting different. They're going to, why are you so, they might not even say it. They're not going to ask you. They're asking to themselves and their mind. Why you, Why this person so calm and stressed out? Do, do he know something we don't know? Or maybe he's getting over on us. That's why he's so calm. He's winning. So they think you're winning when you're so calm. So calm is a gesture of being being in a position of power. Calm, being calm is a, uh, it's a, um, being calm is a, um, is a, is a powerful gesture. So they say, you could be doing everything right at a job and they, um, you staying calm. Why everybody else stressed out and mad in the office or mad in the building or whatever type of job you got, you know, and you're calm. They're going to say, is this person, are you the cause of this? Are you the cause of everybody being stressed out? You ain't got nothing to do with it. You might be this small in the building, but the fact that you so calm, I mean, you're so calm, it puts you in a position of power. Like, you're getting over or maybe you, you th you're too thankful or whatever. It's a Jesus-like trait. It's too much of a powerful, it's a too much of a divine trait being calm. They like when you sweating and mad and complaining. Rah, rah, rah. That's what they like. They like that. That's what they like. You see what I'm saying? So... You got to understand that a lot of these people, when you calm like that at your job and everybody else stressed out, they want to see you stress. So they go, even if you're doing a good job, they're looking for faults. They're looking for failure. They're looking for a reason to complain about you, a reason to gossip about you because your name is out of the equation. Your name is out of the situation. They're not, you're not giving nobody a reason to talk about you to gossip and they mad that they don't have the scoop on you. They upset, they mad that they don't have the scoop on you. They mad and upset. So that's why, in case you wonder why they keep so curious about you, keep bothering you, is because you um you come and they jealous of your personality, jealous of that calm trait, that faithful, God-like, that saint trait, even though you're not perfect and God never used perfect people in the Bible, but the fact that it's just so holy and they think that you think you're better than everybody else because you're calm. And you could be you could be the most humblest, down earth person in the world, but that calm trait amongst chaos is, why are you so calm? You ever saw a golden child when Eddie Murphy asked a little boy, everything gonna be all right, huh? I know. I know. So you become the golden child. I know. That's faith. That's why you got to stay prayed up so you can have that God-like faith. That's why. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you got to, um, you got to be close, you got to stay close to God and stay prayed up. Because Jesus uh, is real, man. Jesus is real, and stay connected to Him. And uh, but that's just the devil. The devil wants he's going to he's, he wants you to stay chaotic. And uh, and when you that light amongst in the midst amongst dark, darkness, then you're a target. When you calm in a situation in a work job environment, or even on a team. Or any type of group where you just not reacting the way everybody else reacting. They either think you're the cause of it or they think you know something that they don't know. They don't know that you just, you know God. You know Jesus Christ. I'm Alan Rillionaire. Much love to you. Uh, press like and subscribe. Check out the next video. Hit me up in the comment section. Um, don't forget to make your Pookie and Ray Ray anthem TikTok Instagram videos. About 50 seconds. That'll work. Um, send them to storetry at yahoo.com. Along with your cash app so my team can tip you. Until next time, I love you, but Jesus love you more. Alan Reagan here, I'm out.